In this video, I'll show you how to create carousels dynamically using the result of a user query. The first step is to determine what kind of information we want to provide in the carousel. In this example, I'll be providing my user with menu items based on some of the limitations they provide me with. I've got that information stored in a table here. So we've got the name of the product, the amount of calories it has, its price, and also an image representing the product. All of this information is stored in a table called menu. Next up, we need a way to understand what our user wants. In this example, I want to ask them what is the most amount of money they want to spend on an item today. So in a node, I'll place a number capture card that's going to ask them for this number. I'll just make sure to send a message along with this that says something along those lines. So what's the maximum amount you'd like to spend today? And I'll make sure to store that result in a variable called workflow.price. Next, we need to search that table for results that match this criteria. To do that, I'll use the find records card to find the records that actually meet those criteria. Let me show you how it works. First, I'll select a table, so I'll use that menu from earlier, and now we create a filter. Here, I'm going to say products less than, and then input that variable that we stored earlier. I'll output the variable in a simple display called results. So what we've done here is tell our bot to find the items in our table that cost less than the number our user provided us with. Now that our bot has retrieved those menu items, let's display them in a carousel. So first, I'll start by adding my carousel to this node, and now we need to start populating it. In each carousel card, I'm going to populate it as follows. So the title, or the first field, is going to be the name of the product itself. Let me show you how to get each of the items in that result. So here we're going to type workflow.results, and you can see here that's the array or list of items that our bot has found. In square brackets, I'll place the number one because I want the first results to show up here. And I'll place the word product because that's the field that I want to find. Remember, this is what we've named our product. Let's do that again, but this time for price. So here we'll do the same thing, workflow.results, the first item, and then instead of dot product, I'll place dot price. Now let's do that again one more time, but for the image. Now images and carousels are also supported with dynamic content. I'll just click this variable button on and use the same notation. So we'll do workflow.results and then one and then dot image because that's the name of the property in the column where the image URL is stored. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this for two more items. So I'll do the same thing, workflow.results, and then two and three, done. So now I've got three different carousel cards for three different results of this search. Now that we've put everything together, let's test it out. If I say hi, I get prompted for the amount that I'd like to spend today, so I'll say $7. And then here, we see it's finding those results and placing them in the carousel. So let's test it out. We see the latte for $6.99, we see a cheesecake for $6.39, and espresso for $2.99. Pretty cool! Happy bot building!